So I've created GTA in Scratch, I've created Need for Speed in Scratch. Now I'm going to be creating one of the most legendary fighting games of all time, Street Fighter. And I'm going to be making that in Scratch. So the first thing I did was I just searched up online um, Street Fighter background and I just looked for a decent looking background on the internet and I found this right here and I, and I thought to myself this is pretty decent so let me just take this background right here and throw it into scratch and now we got a background to start working with so usually when most people open up a scratch project they get rid of this cat but I'm gonna use this as a prototype cat and I just duplicated it so that we have quote unquote two people that are gonna be fighting and this is gonna be the prototypes of of the fighters so the way i'm going to go about this is i'm first going to design the functionality of one of the characters and then i'm just going to copy and paste everything and move it to the next one so the first thing i did was i made this scratch right here move left right up down you know move left and right and jump and and then after that i found some health bars online because these two are going to fight and try to kill each other so i need some health bars to display who's winning the fight so searched up health bar on the internet and got this right here and I just plug this once again and threw it right here into the scratch app. So now I got a health bar, two scratch characters, but I gotta get rid of these goofy looking cats because I'm not gonna have these cats fighting each other. So I just plug this away, plug this one away. So I looked online for something called a sprite sheet, which basically has all the different states of the characters. After doing some digging, I stumbled upon these two. I found Wolverine without any claws and i found this fat little sumo fighter so yeah that's you see that's a problem with not knowing how to draw you end up having to settle for these wolverine wannabe looking looking characters so now as you can clearly see when the character moves it's not actually moving its feet like you know a normal person when they're walking so that whole process is called animation so um, and that's what all these different sprites here are for so what I did was I just, you know, took these sprites, put them in the right order. Whenever the character is walking, it's going to play the walking sprite. And when he jumps, it's going to play the jumping costume. And everything is going to work correctly due to this animation. And now that everything is working, I think it's time to get into a little bit of fighting action. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, whenever the, pr the player presses one of the fighting buttons, I'm gonna make you know the 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 character hit one of the fight one of the fighting animations, and the way I'm gonna detect if a player's been hit or not, I'm gonna put a pink dot on the hit points of the on the hit points of the attacks. So if a player gets punched, I'm just gonna put a pink dot you know right here on the fist. So that's what I did, and now the characters can fight each other and they lose health when they hit each other. And then now I can start playing, and this character can beat the hell out of this one, but unfortunately i want i want the sumo guy to be able to defend himself too so let me just do a little bit of coding on his end too so i just you know going through all the code from there and threw it into the sumo fighter and now the sumo fighter can do the exact same thing but they have different controls so it's player one controls for one to be wolverine over here and for the sumo fighter we have player two controls so one of the last things I needed to do was just add a little main menu here. So I found this image online that says Street Fighter and I added a play button as well. So now when you want to begin the game, you just click play and you can start playing. <clears throat> now everything in the game looks right. It's almost done. The last thing I need to do is just, as you can clearly see, once we beat one of the players up, it just says player one wins. I want there actually to be a death animation, which is also included in the sprite sheets. So I just added a little death animation. So now here's what happens when we play the game. And that right there is how I made Street Fighter in Scratch. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it. And please smash that subscribe button so the channel can continue to grow. And I can create these awesome videos for you again. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.